Hello, I'm Kimberly, and welcome to the weekend edition of the Nave News Update. It's Friday, October 23rd. Many of the stories you hear here can be found at IndianCountryNews.com. And here's the news for the day from the Associated Press and other Native news sources. Brian Gladudsby, chairman of the Swinomish Tribal Community, was elected to another term as president of the National Congress of American Indians. Gladudsby's priorities for a second term include continuing to build stronger tribal education and mental health care, protecting tribal rights and lands, and making Native American voices more prominent at the local, state, and federal levels of government. A stolen totem pole that went from the garden decor of two Golden Age Hollywood actors to the basement of a Hawaiian museum has returned to the Tlingit tribal members in Alaska. Screen legend John Barrymore was traveling along the Alaska coast by yacht and directed crew members to take the totem pole from an unoccupied village in 1931, and he displayed the pole in his garden of his California estate. After Barrymore's death, actor Vincent Price and his wife bought the item and also used it as a yard decoration. The couple donated it to the Honolulu Museum of Art in 1981. University of Alaska Anchorage professor Steve Langdon who has long researched the object, became interested in the piece when he visited an Alaska museum where he saw a photo of Price standing next to the pole. Museum officials didn't know the pole was stolen. With permission from tribal leaders, Langdon went to Honolulu in 2013 to examine the pole, setting in motion a repatriation process funded by the Native American Graves Protection and Repatriation Act. The Indian Health Service released a long overdue policy that will make over-the-counter emergency contraception more accessible for Native American women of all ages. The policy comes more than two years after the U.S. Food and Drug Administration lifted age restrictions on certain emergency contraception pills, and more than six months after a group of U.S. Senators called on the Department of Health and Human Services to develop a policy that would ensure access for women to re who rely on IHS. A 2014 survey by the Native American Women's Health Education Resource Center found that access to emergency contraception varied widely at 69 IHS centers. Some Native American women are in rural areas where the next closest pharmacy would be hundreds of miles away and they may not have transportation. Seven tribes in Oklahoma are expected to participate in a half a million dollar project with the University of Kansas that would restore 350 acres with milkweed and other native plants that are needed by the monarch butterfly. The butterfly has been in decline for 20 years. And according to the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, monarch populations have dropped from a population of more than 1 billion in 1996 to an estimated 56.5 million this year. Experts pointed to development and habitat destruction as well as pesticide use on milkweed plants which monarch butterflies feed on and where they lay their eggs. Monsanto, which manufactures pesticides, is donating $3.6 million over three years to a fund created to help monarch butterflies. The orange and black butterflies lay eggs on milkweed plants in eastern Oklahoma in the spring as they migrate north and return in the fall, sometimes on a journey of 3,000 miles. Actress Tantoon Cardinal has received the inaugural August Schellenberg Award of Excellence at the Imagine Native Awards. Cardinal has appeared in over 100 TV, film, and theater productions, inspiring generations of Native American First Nation peoples over the last 40 years. Known for her dedication and work for the rights and cultures of Indigenous people, Cardinal is also a member of the Order of Canada and a passionate activist on behalf of Aboriginal people and culture. The Imagine Native Film and Media Arts Festival is the world's largest indigenous festival showcasing innovation in film, video, audio, and digital media. For more information, you can check out imaginenative.org. And that's another roundup of news from Indian Country on this edition of the Native News Update. I'd like to thank you for joining me and have a grand day.